In various parts of the world, censorship restrictions and monitoring of internet traffic have become the norm, limiting access to content and violating personal rights. The Great Firewall of China is a prominent example of extensive censorship, but similar restrictions exist in other countries as well. One effective way to ensure security and anonymity on the internet, including bypassing censorship, is to use a virtual private network. Most users opt for ready-made services, either free but unreliable services with built-in advertisements and tracking or paid but costly services. Furthermore, both free and paid services often monetize by selling your data to third parties such as marketing companies and others. Fortunately, now you can forget about all these issues because today I'll teach you how to set up your own VPN server. A modern, fast, reliable one with a user-friendly control panel. All you need for this is to rent a virtual server, which will cost you just a couple of dollars per month, and then enter a few commands in the terminal, which I'll explain. Afterward, you'll have your own VPN service, allowing you to have full control over your internet connection, ensuring a high level of anonymity and security without excessive costs. You can use it on any number of devices and even connect your relatives and friends to it. In this video, we will explore several methods for bypassing internet censorship, starting with less effective ones and moving on to more reliable ones. This is important because different countries and networks may have their own restrictions and what works in one may not work in another. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, make sure to watch the video to the end because at the end of the video, we will look at the most advanced and undetectable censorship bypass technology available today. We'll set up a powerful control panel for it and even connect a Telegram bot that allows us to monitor statistics, create backups, and more. One more important point. Do not type the commands manually. All the commands will be available in the additional materials for this lesson which you can find in my Telegram channel. To avoid mistakes, simply copy and paste the commands into the terminal and everything will go smoothly. All right, now we are ready to get started. First, let's discuss the technologies we'll be using today. Today, we will explore three methods to ensure a free and secure internet. We'll begin with WireGuard. WireGuard is a popular virtual private network technology known for its simplicity and relative efficiency. WireGuard's operation is based on using cryptographic primitives for key exchange and traffic encryption. When a connection is established, devices exchange keys to create a shared secret key. Subsequently, all data transmitted through the VPN is encrypted, ensuring a high level of security and privacy. WireGuard is a popular choice for creating VPN connections. However, in countries where VPN traffic is actively blocked, it may not be sufficient. This is where the ShadowSox technology comes into play. ShadowSox is a proxy server technology used to bypass internet censorship and enhance online anonymity. When you use ShadowSox, your internet traffic is routed through a remote server, which encrypts all your data. This encrypted traffic is then forwarded to the internet, allowing you to circumvent blocks and filters applied in certain countries or networks. On the client side, your device decrypts the received data, enabling you to access blocked websites and services while ensuring the security of your data in public networks. This makes ShadowSox a popular tool for safeguarding privacy and internet freedom in the face of censorship and monitoring. However, old versions of ShadowSox are still vulnerable to detection and can be blocked by sensors if desired. In the new ShadowSox 2022 protocol, this issue has been significantly improved so shadow socks can be considered as an option in addition to the technology we'll discuss next. X-Ray is a technology designed for bypassing internet censorship and ensuring anonymity on the internet. It has the slogan penetrates everything, which is not far from the truth. X-Ray functions as a proxy server that redirects and encrypts your internet traffic through remote servers. XTLS Reality is a new protective technology developed by the creators of X-Ray, designed to bypass active network analysis methods. Unlike previous protocols, XTLS Reality authenticates the client at the TLS handshake stage. The TLS handshake is the process of handshaking between your device and a server when you try to establish a secure connection over the internet. This process begins with your device sending a client hello message to the server, and the server responds with a similar server hello message. XTLS Reality uses this process to determine whether your client is friendly, that is, has permission to access, or foreign that is potentially suspicious. If it determines that the client is friendly, the server works as a standard proxy server, forwarding the request to the target website. If it determines that the client is foreign, it redirects the request to another website, 
such as Google or another well-known resource. All of this makes your internet traffic nearly impossible to detect and block by sensors attempting active network probing. As of today, it is the most advanced and undetectable censorship circumvention technology. Well, that's enough theory. It's time to move on to practice. The virtual server that we are going to rent will act as an intermediary between your device and the website you visit. Your information will be transmitted to your server in an encrypted format. To set up the VPN, we won't need a server with high technical specifications. We'll be fine with the most basic configuration. When choosing, pay attention to the following parameters. Now that we are familiar with the technical specifications, let's register our server. I entered the query cheapest VPS in Google and found a great offer for just $2 per month from Ionos. I'll demonstrate all the further configurations using this server as an example. You can register the same server by following the link in the description. So choose a server with the necessary configuration and proceed with the payment. If you're paying for a server from a different company, pay attention to the renewal price as it can be several times higher than the initial cost. After a while following your payment, your order will be processed and you will receive an email. Log in to your account and go to the server section. Here, you will see your server and the details for connecting to it. Now let's connect to our server and perform some basic setup. To connect to the server, we'll need an SSH client. I'll be using Termius. It's an excellent cross-platform SSH client that you can install on both macOS and Windows. Download the client for your operating system and install it. Then launch it and create a new connection by entering the server's IP address, username, root, and password. You can find these details in your server's control panel. Next, select your connection and connect by choosing Connect with SHH or Quick Connect. The first time you connect, you might see a message about host key verification. Click Add and Continue. After connecting to the server, enter these commands to update the packages and install curl. If you encounter a prompt during the execution of these commands in the terminal, type the letter I and press Enter. If any windows pop up, simply press Enter. This step is complete, and now the server is ready for further work. To install WireGuard and its management panel, we will use the WireGuard Easy Build, which is available on this GitHub page. Let's get started. Connect to your server and access the terminal. We will install WireGuard via Docker. First, let's install Docker on the server. Enter the following commands. After this, the connection will reset, so reconnect. Make sure Docker is working by running the following command. Now, let's install WireGuard Easy. Enter these commands, replacing the server's IP address and admin password with your own. After executing these commands, the WireGuard management panel will be accessible at this address. Let's try to log in and oops, the panel doesn't open. This happens because the ports on which the panel operates are not open on the server. So to make our panel accessible, we need to open this port on the server, allowing it to listen for incoming traffic on this port and process requests coming through it. To open the port, log in to the server's control panel and go to Firewall Policies. Then select My Firewall Policy and add the required port in the incoming section. In a few seconds, the port will be open and our panel will become accessible. Then log in by entering the password you specified in the commands. Now, let's create a new connection. Enter a name and click Create. Next, let's install the client on our device. Go to this link, download the installation file for your operating system and install the program. Then go to the WireGuard panel and download the client configuration file. Now launch the WireGuard client and import the tunnels from the downloaded file. To activate the VPN connection, click the Connect button. Now let's check if our VPN is working. To do this, go to this website. And oops again, our connection isn't working. This happened because the necessary port for the UDP protocol is not open. Let's open it in our firewall policies. Let's try again. Now everything is good, our VPN is working. Let's check how this is displayed in the admin panel. For other operating systems and devices, the installation process is the same. On mobile devices, you can quickly create a connection by scanning a QR code. To do this, install the app for Android or iPhone, create a new connection, and scan the QR code that you will find in the panel. Go to the Get Outline website and download Outline Manager for your operating system. 
After installing and launching the program, you will be prompted to choose one of the well-known cloud hosting providers. Since we will be installing Outline on our own server, select Set up Outline Anywhere. Next, copy the command from the first window, then connect to your server and enter this command. After installation, copy this string and paste it into the second window in Outline Manager. Click Done. After that, the connection to the server will be attempted, but in this case, it will be unsuccessful because we forgot to open the necessary ports on our server. So go to Firewall Policies and open the required ports as indicated here. Now, try connecting to the server again. Great, the outline server is installed and connected. Now let's install and configure the client. Create a new key and click on this icon. In the window that opens, copy the access key. Now download the client for your device and launch it. Create a new connection and paste the copied key there. Then click on the Add Server button. All that's left is to connect and verify that the VPN is working. The process of installing and connecting clients on other operating systems and devices is similar. To install the proxy based on ShadowSox 2022 and XTLS Reality and the control panel for them, we will use the XUI build. First, connect to your server. We will install it through Docker. Docker is already installed on our server. We installed it at the very beginning. If you don't have Docker installed, install it with this command. Now let's install the control panel. First, clone the project's repository by entering these commands. Now let's build the image. To do this, enter this command. Let's check which port the panel is running on. Add this port to the server's firewall. Now let's log in to our panel. The address to the panel consists of our server's IP and the port we added. To log in to the panel, use the standard login and password, which are admin. After logging in, go to the panel settings. Select the user settings tab and change the default password. Now let's create connection. To do this, go to inbounds and add a new inbound. Let's configure the connection based on the ShadowSox 2022 protocol. Select the ShadowSox protocol and the panel will automatically generate the port. You will need to open this port in the server's firewall. Leave the encryption method and password at their default settings as well as all other settings. Click create. Now let's configure the connection based on XTLS reality. Add new inbound and select the VLS protocol. Replace the generated port with port 443. Then enable reality and in the client tab, set this flow option. You can leave UTLS at its default settings or choose Chrome. Dest and server names are the domains under which we will be masking ourselves. You can leave them at their default settings. Now click the get new cert button to generate private and public keys. Click create. Okay. The connections are created. Now, you need to install a client on your device and create a connection in it. There are many clients for the X-Ray protocol. For desktop, I recommend Necobox. The links to the clients will be in the additional materials for the lesson. So, download Necobox for your operating system and launch it. First, go to Preferences, select the Core tab, and switch to Singbox. Now let's create a connection. Go to the panel, select the connection, and click on More Information. Copy the connection link from here. Now go to Necobox, select Server, and click on Add Profile from Clipboard. In the same way, add our VLS connection. Now select the connection, click on Current Select, and then URL Ping. Excellent! The test passes successfully. Now activate our connection. To do this, enable the system proxy, then select the connection and click Start. To set up connections on other devices or share the server with friends, choose Share, then select QR code and link, and you'll get a link to send via a messenger and a QR code that can be scanned with the client. Finally, let's connect a Telegram bot to the panel. Talk to the Botfather bot and register a new bot. The bot will generate an API token for you. Paste it into the panel settings in the Telegram bot settings tab. Here, you also need to specify your ID as the admin ID. You can find it using the Get My ID bot. After that, you can interact with the panel through the Telegram bot. You can view statistics, create backups, and more.
Finally, a few tips and a bonus. First of all, don't be afraid to mess something up during server setup. Even if you break something and can't connect to the server, you can always reinstall the image and start over. You can do this in the server control panel. Select the server, then click on actions and reinstall image. Then choose the operating system and confirm the reinstall. Second tip, if you've done everything correctly during setup but your IP doesn't change and the internet is still going directly, not through the VPN. Check if you have any other VPN applications or VPN extensions in your browser enabled. They could be blocking the VPN from working. As a bonus, I offer you a guide on quickly setting up Shadow Socks 2022 and XTLS Reality without a control panel. You'll find this guide and the additional materials for the lesson in my Telegram channel. That's all for today. You've learned how to set up your own VPN. This will allow you to have full control over your internet connection, ensuring a high degree of anonymity and security without unnecessary costs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.